Hello artists! Today we are going to be creating a winter scene using plaid trees and snow. So what is plaid? Plaid is a type of fabric or material that fabric artists create. You may have seen plaid shirts or plaid pajama pants or even plaid blankets. Plaid is made by using a variety of horizontal and vertical lines. We are going to begin this lesson by creating a snowy background and then we are going to be creating a few different trees to add on. Notice some of the color choices that artists have used and the way they made their lines. So to begin, you are going to pick one colored sheet of paper and write your name on the back of it. Then you're going to flip it over. You're going to be given a paint marker. Shake it up and unscrew the top. Then when you use it, there's three rules. You can't squeeze hard, you can't shake it without the cap off, and you can't bang it on the table. To begin making your snowy background lightly and gently, tap that marker onto your paper and you're going to see that these perfect little circles form. Add as many little circles as you want to create however much snow you want for your background. Do you want just a few flurries or do you want it to look like a blizzard scene? Now it's your turn, so go back to your table and create that step. The next step is to create our plaid background and we're going to use quick sticks. These are the paint mark pens that dry really quickly. You can pick anywhere between three, four, or five colors. I'm going to use four colors in mine. I'm going to start holding my paper vertically, kind of like the piece of paper you might get during class to write on. And I'm going to work from the left side to the right side, the same way as if you were writing your name. When I use my quick stick, I want the lines to start all the way at the tippy top of the paper and go all the way to the bottom. Notice how I can make fat lines by holding my paint stick flat or skinny lines by just using the edge of it. After I finish with the first color, I'm going to close it up and then I'm going to pick my second color and I'm going to fill in some of those spaces. When I'm done with that, I'm going to keep putting my cap back on. I'm just looking at my paper and thinking, do I want a fat line here or do I want a skinny line? Where would I like this color to go? Do I have any big open white spots where it might be perfect? If you need to go over your line, twice, that is great because you'll get a richer color. The last color I'm using here is blue and I might not use this one as much as all my other colors because I don't have as much space left on my paper. So I'm just going to add a fat line and two skinny lines. Now I'm going to turn my paper horizontal and I'm going to do the same thing, working from the left to the right adding in either fat or skinny lines in each of the colors. It almost starts to create this crazy checkerboard pattern with lots of squares or rectangles on it. Okay, artists, now it's your turn to do this. Your teacher is going to give you a piece of white paper. You'll get a variety of quick sticks that you can use and you can begin creating your plaid background. In the last step of your project, we're going to be making our three trees. Flip your paper over and on the bottom of the paper, put your hand in the middle. Put a dot on each side of your hand and then go straight up and make a dot all the way at the top of the paper. Play connect the dots and you're going to see that you've created a triangle. Use your scissor to cut out that triangle. Look at how my point is all the way at the tippy top of the paper so I could get a nice big tree. Set that one aside. Now you have two pieces of paper. Make two dots again all the way at the bottom of your paper and make a dot in the center and make another long triangle. 
you're going to do that to both extra pieces of paper and get these triangles that you can now cut out. Now that you have your three trees cut out, take a look at them. The last thing that we're going to need is some tree trunks. I like to lay my trees out on my background to decide how I want them to go. Do I wanna hold my paper vertically or will the trees not fit? Or do I wanna turn it horizontal so that all of the trees can fit? You're going to make your best decision. I'm going to lay my trees out and then with the scrap paper, I'm going to cut thin, long rectangles to make three tree trunks. Once I've made my three tree trunks, I'm going to first glue the tree trunk down, then glue the triangle tree on top of it. Then I will glue my next tree trunk down, and then I will glue my tree on top of it. The last step will be to glue the last tree trunk down and then glue my last tree on top of it. When I use my glue, I wanna make sure I'm using enough glue so that the whole thing sticks down. If you're using liquid glue, make sure you're doing dot dot, not a lot. And if you're using a glue stick, make sure you're covering the whole thing with glue. Use your hands, massage all of those glued pieces of paper down and then you will have completed your plaid backgrounds and trees. These are going to need to go into the drying rack when you're finished. Have fun creating, artists.